In a classic case of NIMBY, a proposal to build the United States' first offshore wind farm is being highly debated by environmentalists and different community organizations. We travel to Cape Cod, Massachusetts to hear the story. The wind farm will have 130 wind turbines and will have the potential to provide up to 75% of the energy demanded by the Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard. This prime location would allow us to take advantage of optimal winds and horseshoe shoals, powerful breezes that consistently blow in the area. The energy will be clean and renewable, lessening our demand on fossil fuels that pollute the environment. Energy is good anywhere else, but we don't want it here. Wind turbines will block the magnificent views that we have on our beachfront mansions that overlook the sea and make it look all ugly. I make way too much money to look at something so atrocious. Potential to disrupt fish migrations and breeding grounds due to habitat destruction. My fishing business will suffer and I won't be able to make any money or feed my family. I don't like the idea that we're having these wind turbines in this area. There's a lot of heavy air traffic in this region, both commercially and privately. I mean, these wind turbines are over 40 stories tall, which is taller than the Statue of Liberty if you didn't know. And they could create a real safety hazard. Turbines can disturb migratory patterns of birds, particularly the rosette tern, and endangered seabirds that populates the area. These wind turbines have been known to kill many birds, particularly those that make nests in the turbines. Wind Farm, despite the 10 years opposition, have been approved by the EPA, the Army Corps of Engineers, and the Bureau of Ocean Management. The project, estimated to cost $2.6 billion, already has $1 billion of funding secured. Construction will begin soon. 